Let's bring in Arizona Republican Attorney General Mark Branovich. Uh, Attorney General, great to see you as always. It's, it's always a pleasure to see you. One of the most entertaining AGs in the nation, I should say. <laughs> and we'll get into that a little busiest later. Busiest, too. Busiest, too. I know. Uh, what about this issue of, of smugglers, or at least the people that use smugglers, and I'm sure the smugglers are looking in there, too, to see how they can get more clientele, because they are making a hundred, uh, no, I think it was actually $400 million a month, one of the uh, border experts told us uh, yesterday, with just the human smuggling. They're making now more from human smuggling than they are from drugs. Isn't, isn't what Facebook is doing kind of aiding and abetting those those uh, cartel members absolutely david and thank you for having me on and it, it is absolutely heartbreaking and we see in arizona the surge of hard drugs things like fentanyl coming across our border. I know as a former gang prosecutor that the cartels are enriching themselves. They are making money off people and drugs coming across that border. And so it breaks my heart when Joe Biden is out there talking about the jobs he's created, and I can't help but think he's creating the jobs for the wrong people. He's creating jobs for the cartel because they are now moving more drugs across the border than CVS and Walgreens combined. And Facebook, shame on these tech companies. You know, I've had my battles with them, I've sued them, and they literally, when we wrote them a letter, they responded back saying that they literally are allowing for the facilitation of, of ads to allow people to illegally cross the border. That's what they said. So they literally know that they're breaking the law. As you know, the federal government is responsible for our border. There's only so much me and my colleagues yeah, can do. So the tell federal that to the border patrol agents who, who would uh, suggest that that's not happening. Oh, it's absolutely shameful. The Biden administration has essentially decriminalized and incentivized illegal border crossings. As you know, we have multiple lawsuits against the Biden administration, everything on trying to make sure that they deport people, deportation orders, to trying to block them when they rescinded the public charge rule, which gives benefits to people that are here illegally. I mean, literally, David, the most pressing question facing people that have entered the country illegally now is not whether they have COVID. They're not being asked that. They're not, not whether they've been vaccinated, you know, well, not even whether they want on asylum now the most right. pressing question is do they want the king suite or do they want the resort fee you know right. i mean it's literally it's it's crushing what's happening to american taxpayers in our communities well we haven't talked about how it's affecting not only the people on the border but you saw the these secret drop-offs of of illegal immigrants that come in are, are flown to in the middle of the night to places like new york like uh westchester new york right outside of new york city uh offloaded uh, and god knows where they go from there but you're actually asking for help from an attorney general of the united United States, who is part of this administration, involved in this, uh, these, uh, these, I, I wouldn't say accomplices of, of the human smugglers, but people who are at least making their job easier. Yeah, it's, it's, it's shocking to me, as, as someone that believes very strongly in the rule of law, that you have an attorney general that's willing to call parents that protest the vaccine mandates or critical race theory at school board meetings. He wants to investigate them, but the Biden administration is giving a free pass to the cartels and their enablers at companies like Facebook. So it's, what do you, it's absolutely what do you disgraceful. It, it, forgive me for interrupting, but what do you expect to get from A.G. Garland, who we see on the left side of the screen here, if in fact he's, he's not doing anything to close the borders right now and not doing much to stop this sort of nonsense going on in Facebook? Well, as you know, we have multiple lawsuits going on, and we are asking, we are pleading with them to do the right thing and to shut down Facebook's ability to do these ads. As you know, Facebook has had the ability to throttle things going up to the 2020 election. They've censored stuff relating to different critiques or criticism regarding vaccines, but somehow they don't have the ability or the desire to shut down facilitating illegal border crossing. Uh, you know, you mentioned places like New York. Just last week here in Arizona, there was a seizure of 50 pounds of fentanyl in one stop two milligrams can be a lethal yeah. dose so that's like enough fentanyl to kill the entire population of new york city it's, so it's this awful. may be in arizona's backyard but it's coming to everyone's neighborhood very very quickly shame on the biden administration let's get him to do something let's keep ringing the bell and forcing merrick garland and joe biden to protect americans okay we're Attorney General, we're going to lighten things up a little bit. And as as I mentioned before, you, you kind of have an unusual approach in many cases to being Attorney General. We want to show one of those on you. You, you expressed an ability uh, that very few AGs have, and this is a videotape of that ability. Now, you look like a mild manner AG until you reach into your back pocket and pull out nunchucks. Look at this. 
<laughs> What's going on here? What is this? Have you ever, by the way, have you ever had to use those things in a dangerous uh, emergency? Officially or unofficially, David? I will tell you, <laughs> I have many skills. Unofficially, go ahead. Uh, yeah, you know, look, I, 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 I have many skills, and I, I understand we are involved in every major lawsuit in this country right now at the state and federal level, but it doesn't mean that we can't have a little fun, and we have to keep things in perspective. And uh, I am more than willing to take on uh, Merrick Garland in the, in the Kumite, in the, in the squared <laughs> octagon. Let's get Dana White or somebody to set up that match, right? Okay, all right. By the way, is this a selling point in, in running for a higher office? Oh my gosh, politics sucks. You know that? And, uh, you know, I've never run for anything before I was AG. I'm not going to change who I am. I'm going to keep doing my thing, do the right thing in the right way, and it's all going to work out. By the way, it sounds good. like a bumper sticker. Uh, Brodovich says politics suck. I mean, that's, that's a pretty good bumper sticker. There. It does. You get it. Yeah. yeah. Great to see you. Thank yeah. you very much for coming in. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Well, after the